Good afternoon. Thank you for the call and response from about five of you. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. That's better. Uh, welcome to the 27th Annual Student Gold Medallion Awards. My name is Lucas Langdon. I'm the director of Campus Life. It's my honor to kick off our ceremony today that recognizes some of Eastern's most exceptional students who've helped make our campus the amazing place it is to work, live, and learn. All of our nominees today have made a tremendous positive impact, and we are here today to celebrate their contributions to student life this year. Today we will celebrate students for outstanding leadership, service, mentorship, professionalism, and we celebrate students' outstanding work through organizations. We're also gonna recognize faculty and staff members who serve as student organization advisors for their guidance, oversight, mentorship, and care, and we thank them for creating opportunities for our students to have meaningful co-curricular experiences. And finally, if you are here today and you are family by blood or by choice of one of our nominees recognized today, I wanna to thank you for being an important part in leading our students to the work that they have done for us here at EMU. Before I begin, uh, I would like to introduce uh, our Associate Vice Pre Executive uh, Associate Vice President and Dean of Students, Ellen Gold. Thank you. And I am Ellen. All those titles I've told people, I have the longest title, I think, at the university. And I'll tell it to you, but sometimes I even forget it. So it's Senior Associate Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. And that's a mouthful, and I can't even get an acronym out of it. So here I am. Um, on behalf of President Smith, who's out of town, and Provost Longworth, who is stuck in a meeting, I want to welcome you to this wonderful student gold medallion event. It's been happening for how many years now? 27 years we've had the student gold medallion program. And guess what? I've been at every one of them. Yeah. So, so you can tell I've been here for a while. Um, I just wanted to make a couple comments because I can be boring and you just want to get on with the celebration. But I want to remind everyone in the room, whether you nominated someone, you're a nominee, you're a family member, you're part of a student organization, that while we are recognizing um, awardees, every student in this room is an award recipient. And I'd like you to, all the students, in the room to stand up and clap for each other. <laughs> you are the reason that I have been here and you are the reason why I stay here for, and that's our youngest eagle right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clapping too, it's clapping. Um, but I've been here a while and there were times that there were opportunities to go and maybe grow, but there's something about EMU, there's something about the students and the community that makes me wanna be here and stay here. I've been at other schools and this is the school where I can walk up and down the hill and don't know someone, and I turn and I say hi to them. Now they sometimes wonder this gray-haired, mature lady is talking to them, but that's what it's all about at Eastern. I can go to the commons and go where a student sitting by themselves and say, would you mind if I sit here? because that's what it's all about, meeting people that you don't know, helping other students who don't seem engaged to be engaged. And we culminate with this kind of event here where we honor and we respect and we award each other. 
So I want you to remember that, take that with you. Know that in my eyes, just being here, you're a winner because that's why we don't use the word, you know, we're giving this person the award. They're the winner. They're the recipient because we are all being honored by who we are and what we do. So I want to thank you for giving me just a couple minutes to share my heart, where my heart is at Eastern and why I'm here. And it's because of all the people I see out there. So thank you. Have a great program. Now it's time uh, to honor all of our standing students and student organizations that have earned nominations for the Student Gold Medallion Awards this year. Um, nominees, as Ellen said, I hope you'll feel rightfully proud to be recognized. Um, there are 14,000 plus students at EMU and only about 50 of you received nominations. So that is telling of where you are and what you're contributing to this university. So I hope that you recognize the value of that. That said, I know Ellen made you stand up, but I'm going to do it again when your name is read. Uh, if you're able, please stand up and be embarrassed. I mean, recognized. Um, and I'm just going to read through and, and give you all the chance to, to hear the names. Um, and I felt I've been working on this. Uh, I apologize if I mangle any of these pronunciations. First up, Adriana Enriquez Mora. Alejandra Martinez Munoz. Amy Coomer. Anaya Albright. Brooke Whitaker. Brian Gilby. Camila Enriquez Mora. Cedric Charles. Jotika Pitak Toyhan. Dr. Unushri Rawat. Dr. Dewana Jackson. Elise Tasich. Esther Ganell. Popular, you can tell. Eve Tron. Hadir Said Eldin. Hamza Dejani. Jack Booth. Jane Venezia. Jaya Lett. Jenna Walters. Jennifer Keen. Jesse Queck. John Jaber. Kaylee Radwan. Caitlin Willis. Noah Keanu Caradon. Kefaya Nabilsi. Kyle Martin. Kylie McLean. Lindsay Schimler. Maha Casey. Maisie Seal. Marisa Saliche. Naj Al Jaba. Nandika Talwar. Odia Kaba. Panita Kwantan Wan. Dr. Heather Cylinder. Rami Mustafa. Rin Kosminski. Riley Clare Day. 
Terrell Oatman. And last but not least, Willie Mae Thomas. We also have a number of student organizations who are being recognized today. So if you're here with one of these student organizations, please let us appreciate you. The Black Honor Student Organization. Her Space. The International Student Association. All right, this one's a mouthful. The Michigan Council of Nurse Practitioners, Eastern Michigan University Chapter. Right. Omega Phi Alpha. Super Smash Brothers Club. And last but not least, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Pi Delta Chapter. I want to... Uh, also thank those who submitted nominations. I mentioned we had about 50 individual students, but there were 100 submissions this year um, of nominees, and we appreciate the time that you took to recognize uh, the contributions of this year's nominees. And we had a lot more student peer nominations than we've had in recent years, so thank you for taking the time to recognize your peers as well. Yes, yes, thank you. And now, let's give out some awards. Presenting our first award, please welcome to the stage Esther Gannell, Director of the Office for International Students and Scholars. Our first award is the Eagle Ambassador Award with recognized students who have served as a goodwill emissary, positively and consistently representing EMU on and off campus. Our undergraduate award recipients was nominated by peers who share how engaged and enthusiastic he is about EMU. He is someone who bleeds green, publicly and possibly and privately and is always willing to speak positively and knowledgeably about Eastern Michigan University to other students. In fact, one nominator was on the fence about attending EMU until they were convinced by our award recipient that EMU is one of the most underrated university in the country. Another nominator wrote, he never fails to disappoint with his knowledge, advice, connections, and overall energy. And I hope that he finally gets the recognition he deserves. The 2023 Undergraduate Eagle Ambassador Awards goes to Hamsa Dajani. Graduate Student Ego Ambassador is someone who not only supports students through her work as a graduate assistant in the Office for International Students and Scholars, but also jumps in to help whenever she needs to seize a need. A longtime supporter of the International Student Association, she has been an advocate for international students since her sophomore year as an undergraduate. As a graduate assistant, she has become recognized as an ambassador to the office and the universities to international students because of her. Our international student can feel is exceptionally cared for and manage the processes for becoming and staying a student at EMU much easier. I'm so proud to announce the 2023 Graduate Eagle Ambassador Awards goes to Naj. El Chapa.
Can I stay a little bit longer to get the spotlight? All the music? No. <laughs> Congratulations, Hamza and our Naj. Presenting our next award, please welcome Becky James from the Housing and Resident Life and Josiah Pekovich from the Fencing Parker Advising Center. It is my pleasure to be presenting this year's Outstanding Professionalism by a Student Employee Award, which recognizes an outstanding undergraduate or graduate student employee who exhibits exemplary professionalism in their duties. The undergraduate award goes to a student who has served as a housing services office manager. They are responsible for maintaining a high level of organization and responsibility. She is a natural leader making strategic and thought out decisions. She is a pro producer, efficient and organized and has been responsible for training peers and they view her very much as a positive role model. She has a sense of responsibility that is beyond her years and is one of the most hardworking, honest and driven students I have ever supervised and I know she will continue to make a positive and lasting impact in her future. The 2023 Undergraduate Outstanding Professionalism Award goes to Amy Coomer. Our next award winner received nominations from five people who had many wonderful things to say. More than one nominator shared that they sometimes forget that she's a graduate student and not a full-time staff member in their office. She is described as always willing to help and does so with compassion, understanding, and kindness. And one nominator noted that she distinguishes herself with impeccable communication skills, resourcefulness, and professional judgment. In her role as a graduate assistant, she helps students navigate the challenges of college and prepares them for success. Her work, work ethic, and professionalism are nothing short of extraordinary, and she has gone well above and beyond her duties to support the students and the staff she works with. According to another nominator, in difficult situations, she shines as a calm, dedicated, and compassionate advocate for students. The outstanding professionalism by a graduate student award goes to Lindsay Schimler. Congratulations to Amy and Lindsay. <laughs> Presenting our next award, Dasa, Dr. Lisa Lauterbeck, the Director of Counseling and Psychological Services, and Dr. Kimberly Farrell, the lecturer in, a lecturer in the College of Education. <laughs> the honor to present the Outstanding Volunteerism by a Student Award, which recognizes a student who has demonstrated exemplary commitment, vision, and passion for community in service to the campus or the local community. Our undergraduate award recipient has a heart for service and giving, and it is part of her identity to donate her time to better our community. When she is not serving with an organization, she goes out of her way to make an impact as an individual. She donates blood, clothing, food, and even books to free little libraries. She has volunteered her time hosting a youth talent show, running a pumpkin decorating booth at a fall festival, helping with the Erase Stigma 5K, and collaborating with the Lions Club. 
As the treasurer of Circle K International, she helped lead service events with Habitat for Humanity, Luke's Landing, a shelter for cats with feline leukemia, and roadside cleanups in Ypsilanti. Her nominator shared that she uses her voice to share worthy causes and inspire others to give of themselves as well, and went on to say that they don't know anyone who is more motivated by empathy, kindness, and compassion. It is the award for outstanding volunteerism by an undergraduate student goes to Riley Clare Day. The award for outstanding volunteerism by a graduate student goes to a student who has volunteered her time and effort to educate students on the importance of mental health wellness. As an expert in helping women who have experienced violence or assault, she has encouraged and lifted women, uplifted women on and off campus one who open up about their stories. She helps students who have struggled with their classwork as well as in their social lives. Her nominator shared that she has exhibited extraordinary commitment to EMU and has constantly displayed passion for helping students from all walks of life. She continues to be a leader academically and socially. The award for outstanding volunteerism by a graduate student goes to Maha Casey. <laughs> Congratulations to Riley and Maha. Presenting our next award from EMU's Department of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion programs, please welcome Kevin Williams. <laughs> Good afternoon. Come on, a little bit more energy than that? Good afternoon. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. If I could, can I have uh, the parents in the room? Can you please stand? All parents that are in the room. Parents. Let's give these parents a round of applause. Thank you very much. This is a very proud moment for them as well. And I never had the opportunity to provide my parents with such a moment, but who's talking about me right about now, all right? Our next award recognizes a graduate or undergraduate student who has fostered the spirit of mentoring by aiding in the development of another student's leadership skills, social integration, and scholarly achievement. The recipient of the Outstanding Mentorship by an Undergraduate Student Award has demonstrated commitment by a commitment to mentoring and serves as a role model in every area of her life. Whether helping peers secure volunteer opportunities to assist their professional progression or working with charity fundraisers, this individual is an example to others. She spends her summers mentoring young Asian American girls in Macomb School District, encouraging them to embrace their heritage and to pursue higher education. She also involved, she's also involved in numerous campus organizations and maintains an impressive academic record. As her nominator shared, she is proof 
that you can do it all and do it right. Please join us in congratulating Panita Kansungun uh, as your outstanding mentorship award recipient. Panita, after all of that work <laughs> it took to pronounce that last name, we will gladly accept this award on her behalf. Uh, the award for outstanding mentorship by a graduate student goes to a student who is nominate, nominated by three of her peers. One nominator shared that she made sure to make me feel included and welcome into any new environment and another nominator wrote that she always treats everyone with the utmost respect and kindness, whether as a tutor, as a participant in the economics club, or in her role as a GA, our award recipient has demonstrated a commitment to helping others understand and navigate their EMU experience. The outstanding mentorship by a graduate student award goes to Carmilla Enrique Mora. Congratulations to Panita and Camilla. Presenting our next award, please welcome Matthew Gregory, Director of Sexual Misconduct and Prevention Programs at EMU. Matthew. The award for outstanding leadership by an undergraduate student recognizes a student who has shown extraordinary commitment, vision, and passion for leadership on behalf of the division or the university. This year's award recipient received five glowing nominations. As the Vice President of the Minority Association for Pre-Med Students, Vice President of the Pre-Med Club, and Treasurer of the Neuroscience Interdisciplinary Club this current academic year, she spends a lot of her time leading within the pre-med community. One nominator states that what sets her apart is her unwavering commitment to her team and their work. Always taking time to offer support and feedback, always willing to lend a helping hand. Another nominator shared that she has consistently exceeded the expectations of her role within the organizations she is a part of and inspires others to share in her passion the award for outstanding leadership by an undergraduate student goes to Gifaya Nabilisi. They're unable to be here at this time, but we will accept on their behalf. This year's outstanding leadership by a graduate student award goes to the president of the EMU Society for Human Resource Management her nominator shared that she has led the organization in many innovative projects, a speaker series, had an integral role in organizing a virtual mock interview and mentoring program. One nominator also stated that she makes sure that everyone contributes to discussions and decisions and is passionate about contributing to the community regularly volunteering. The award for leadership by a graduate student goes to Nandika Towar. Congratulations to them both. And now our next presenter, Michelle Owens, my former supervisor as an undergraduate student, uh, assistant director of the REC IM. Well, to make me feel just a smidgen older, although I embrace it, I get to um, announce the Glenna Frank Miller Award for Collegiate Leadership. 
And I feel really grateful because Glenna gave me my first shot in campus life when I was a student here 30 plus years ago. So really feel honored to be able to um, announce this and I know she would be really proud of this recipient. The Glenna Frank Miller Award for Collegiate Leadership recognizes a student with senior academic standing who has demonstrated exemplary leadership through their time at EMU. This award was created to recognize a student who has shown exemplary leadership consistently and extensively throughout their EMU career. The nominator for this year's award recipient describes her, <clears throat> pardon me, as a catalyst, a leader, and an advocate for creating impactful educational spaces that uplift and value the people she has had an opportunity to work with, whether in the classroom or serving as a student teacher and a, or as an assistant in the office of the ombuds, as an active leader with, within EMU's Kappa Delta Phi, or an e-board member of EMU's Tau Sigma, this year's award recipient exemplifies the servant leadership approach and a, a culture of care for the individuals she interacts with. The 2023 Glenna Frank Miller Award for Collegiate Leadership goes to Caitlin Willis. <laughs> So congratulations, Caitlin. Presented our next award, Ellen Gold, Senior Associate Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Come on up, Ellen. <laughs> Advisors to student organizations spend many hours trying to help student groups grow and successfully meet their goals. This is in addition to their day-to-day -day jobs as faculty or staff and comes with no additional compensation. These advisors are crucial to the success of our student organizations. Our award recipient in the Outstanding Advisor category has been advising her organization for over 20 years. She can often be seen coming back to campus after her already late work hours to attend events that the organization sponsors. She's an unwavering advocate for international students, their needs, and their ability to be a part of our campus community. She advises without interfering and has created such a caring connection to the students that many refer to her as Mama. One nominator shared that she has helped hundreds of EMU students feel connected to home and supports them at all times. Truly a committed and above, above and beyond advisor. It is hard to capture all of her hard work and dedication in a simple paragraph. I am really and truly Delighted to announce that the 2023 Award for Outstanding Student Organization Advisor goes to um, <laughs> Esther Ganell. <laughs> Congratulations again, Esther. Presenting our next award, please welcome Karen Thompson, Coordinator of Student Organizations and Fraternity and Sorority Life.
The Award for Outstanding Student Organization Program recognizes an outstanding student organization program for its substantial contributions to the quality of life and campus engagement at EMU. Our award-winning program this year goes to a student organization that was nominated for multiple programs across several nominations. One nominator notes that this organization has continued to maintain and expand its amazing, diverse, and friendly community filled with students, non-students, faculty, and alumni alike. The winning program was the largest of its kind in the United States with over 180 attendees. The organization hosted a tournament that brought a positive spotlight to EMU and unlike others of its kind, did not require entry fees. The organization believed that removing financial barriers would foster a more inclusive environment. The 2023 Award for Outstanding Student Organization Program goes to Super Smash Brothers Club Summer <laughs> Dance Congratulations. To present our final award, please welcome Dr. Ann Eisenberg, Dean of the Honors College. The Award for Outstanding Student Organization celebrates a recognized student organization that has demonstrated exemplary commitment to their organization's vision, contributing positively to the campus community. Our award recipient this year has hosted numerous events over the course of the year that engage and support students. They are dedicated to fulfilling the needs of current and prospective black students and other students of color and to promoting unity among all students. The organization hosts bi-weekly study tables held an event to provide a fun, relaxing night for students during midterms and to connect students from various organizations on campus that support students of color. They had an active role with Black Homecoming and the MLK Celebration Committees and are currently conducting a book drive for local Ypsilanti schools. With this organization's assistance, the proportion of students of color in the Honors College has increased by a factor of 150% over the last two years. This year's Outstanding Student Organization Award goes to the Black Honors Student Organization. <laughs> Congratulations once again to all of our nominees and winners, sorry, recipients of the awards. Uh, I do hope that you're all proud for what you've accomplished and continue to celebrate that uh, after the event. Please eat more food before you leave. Um, I would also like to recognize and thank the Student Gold Medallion Planning Committee, uh, Benuel, Danielle, Karen, Lisa, Matt, Michelle, and Jessica for all of their hard work making all of this happen. Um, yes, please. as well as a shout out to our event planning crew in the Student Center and catering. Kathy standing in the back not wanting to be uh, embarrassed. There you go. Um, award recipients, before you leave today, we'd ask that you come to the stage uh, to join us for a quick photo. Uh, and I wanna thank everyone for joining us. If you've not had enough of the vibe of award ceremonies and celebrations, this is Week of Excellence. So. Uh, Thursday morning, 9 o'clock, 
Continental Breakfast 930, the Distinguished Achievement Recognition Awards will take place right here in the ballroom. And then all day Friday, we have the Undergraduate Symposium. And if you've not been to that, that is a wonderful event. Um, stop by and check that out. Uh, with that, I want to thank you all for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful afternoon.